Michigan with two presidential candidates? Move over, Perry Johnson, and say hello to former mid-Michigan Republican Congressman Mike Rogers. To be sure, he has not announced he is running for president, but he's doing all sorts of stuff to lay the foundation when he gets over, if he does, his current indecision. What about running for the U.S. Senate or for president? Are you interested? Uh, I haven't said no, uh, but I also haven't said yes yet. But just in case he does run, he went to the Iowa State Fair last summer, which might be the first state where a Republican presidential primary could be staged. He's also been to New Hampshire. Now, with former President Donald Trump already in the contest, many would-be candidates are having second thoughts about taking him on. Not Mr. Rogers. If I ever made the decision to run, there is no candidate that uh, would prevent me from doing that. In fact, Mr. Rogers contends while Mr. Trump had some good public policies, he is part of the problem with rhetorical parts of the politics today. And when you look at what the national scene is about, you know, you know candidly grievance politics, uh, you know, the sugar high of a, I slap my opponent and I get, you know, 400,000 likes on my, uh, on my Facebook page, uh, is not working. If the White House thing doesn't work out, would Mr. Rogers run for Debbie Stabenow's U.S. Senate seat in Michigan? With 14 years in the Congress, that would make sense. But he's not sure about that either. Mr. Rogers has privately talked with the big money folks in the Republican Party who want to keep the number of candidates in the field to a minimum. They fear the more candidates helps Donald Trump. And it's not been confirmed, but Mr. Rogers is looking at the month of June for making a go or no go decision and a bid for the White House. And his wife, if he says yes, will reportedly support him. In Lansing, Tim Skubik, Fox 2 News.